Hi, I am Arun Mishra and I am from Informatica GCS. And in this video, I am going to talk about the configuration required in WebSphere application server for MDM and ActiveOS. The agenda for this video is the profile creation, additional configurations for MDM and ActiveOS, and the post install configurations. The prerequisites are read the PAM document for information about product requirement and supported platforms. Verify minimum system requirements, install a JDK, install Visual C++ for Windows only, set environment variables, Java Home, Path are variable required. Set up database environment and install supported WebSphere application server. Moving on to WebSphere configuration. First of all, we need to create a secure profile in WebSphere. So open the WebSphere customization toolbox using first steps. Once the customization toolbox is open, click on create. Once the profile management tool is open, click on application server and click on next. Choose advanced profile creation and click on next. Choose all the three options under optional application deployment and click on next. Choose the profile name and the directory where you want to create the profile and click on next. Give the node name, server name and the host name and click on next. Choose enable administrative security and choose add username and password. And click on next. Once this is done, it will ask for the security certificate. Click on security certificate and click on next. Under security certificate part 2, click on next. Please check the port values assignment and click on next. Run the application server process as a windows server, choose it and log on as a local system account and click on next. You can skip this web server definition and click on next. Finally click on create. Now wait for profile management tool to create your profile. After profile is successfully created, log on to WebSphere admin console using the password that we chose. Go to security, global security and click on enable application security. Please expand RMI slash IIOP security and go to CS, CSI v2 inbound communication. Change the transport layer from SSL required to SSL supported. Click apply and directly save to master configuration. Enable application security, apply and save directly to master configuration. Once these changes are done, we need to create ActiveOS user in order to use ActiveOS console. Expand users and group. Click on manage users and create. User ID you can give as AOS. First name and last name you can give like ActiveOS user. And the password that you will use to log in into ActiveOS console. Click on create. The ActiveOS user is successfully created. Now we need to map the role for it. So go to administrative user roles and add, search for AWOS user that we created and choose the monitor role for it. Click on OK and save directly to master configuration. Once ActiveOS user is created successfully, we need to do some more additional configurations. For that, go to servers. Under server types, click on WebSphere application server. Choose the server 1. Go to Java and process management and click on process definitions. Under that, click on Java virtual machine. Here we need to set the initial and maximum heap size. 
and under generic JVM argument, we need to provide one property and click on apply and save directly to master database. Once this is done, we need to go to environment. Under environment, we need to go to web shell variables. Go to next page. We are using Oracle as a database, so we need to find Oracle JDBC driver path. Oracle JDBC driver path, click on it and provide the value here where for the WebSphere installation directly under lip. This is the profile that we created. We need to copy this directory. and paste it under here and for this after that we need to copy the ojdbc jar file under this directory click on apply and save directly to master database once these configurations are done we are ready to install mdm and activos once mdm and activos are installed and the build are successful then we need to move on to post installation task and the configuration that we need to do for that we need to map the avos user to ab trust role first of all go to applications under application type click web share enterprise applications click, uh, choose av underscore website dot er Please wait for it to load, it may take some time. Under that, go to detail properties and click on security role to user group mapping. We need to map this AB trust role to this user Activo AVOS that we created for Activos. So click on choose this AB trust and click on map users. Search for a string user, uh, search for Activos. and select it click on ok click on ok and save directly to master configuration after that the er cyperen mrm er entity 360 view er provisioning er and cyperen mrm cleanse er we need to set the class loading property to load local class first and parent last for that click on cyperen mrm er please wait it might take some time for it to load once it is loaded, we need to go to class loading and update detection. And here we need to choose the class loader order as class is loaded with loader cla local class loader first and parent last. Similarly, we need to do for all the four ER we mentioned, Cyperian MRM ER, Entity View Provisioning and Cyperian MRM Cleanse. For all, we need to set the class loader order as local class loader first and parent last. Doing so, click on apply and save to master configuration. After that, we need to provide just one more additional configuration. For ZTS GUI.module, we need to set the class loading as local class loader first and parent last as well for that under cyperian mrm er click on manage modules 
Under that, click on zds-gui.war file. It may take some time to load it. Please wait. Once it is loaded, we need to choose the class loader order. As already discussed, class is loaded with local class loader first and parent last. Click on apply and after that save to master configuration. Once all these configurations are done, we need to restart the WebSphere application server and that we can do using the first steps. We can stop the server and restart it and we are good to go. That's all for today's video. All these configurations are required and mandatory to run MDM and ActiveOS on WebSphere as an application server. You can find the installation guide in docs.informatica.com and the product availability matrix is available under networkinformatica.com. We would love to hear from you. Thank you and have a nice day.